Hi guys, I'm back again and I have for you a review of Daughter by Asha Bandeli. This book begins with uh, the story of Miriam, who's the mother, and her daughter Aya, who are living in Brooklyn. Miriam is a very hardworking black American woman who is always working and going to church every Sunday very faithfully. It's as if she's a pact with God or something that if I do all these things correctly, everything will be fine for me and for my daughter. But at the same time, the relationship between Miriam and Aya is slightly strained because it seems that they are two totally different human beings, that they have nothing in common. And you witness in the beginning of the book the strain on the relationship in the sense that Aya is a very poetic person and she is getting into writing and she's very sensitive and her desire is to know more about her father. Whereas Miriam is so serious and so restrained and pent up and as if though she's trying to stop something from happening that she a little bit misses out on a relationship that she could build with her daughter because of some things from the past. After this portion where you see the relationship between Miriam and Aya, you then witness the scene that actually propulses the book a bit further and that is when Aya goes out for her nightly run and doesn't come back because she is accidentally shot by a police officer who mistakes her for a uh, a thug that he thinks has just robbed a, a store in the neighborhood. So because Aya fits the description, which is very vague, and she's wearing a hoodie, he thinks that because she's running, that she is the guilty one. And in fact, he shoots a girl and not even a guy and someone who is unarmed because as she goes to turn off her music, he sees her hand go into the pocket and he just assumes that she's gonna pull out a gun and so he shoots her. The next scenes go to Miriam sitting by the hospital bed of her daughter and praying and hoping and wishing and regretting that and hoping that she will be fine and that everything will be okay and then at the same time wondering how did they get to where they are now that's all i'm going to tell you about the plot because it gets a little bit more complex there are some passages of the book that go back into the past and then we jump back you know for, fast forward and we do that quite a bit through the book and that is the technique that works really well in this book because as the book is called Daughter, we focus a lot on Miriam and we focus on Miriam as a daughter and Miriam as a mother. And that's what makes the book uh, extremely interesting because you can parallel the life that Miriam led before when she was a daughter to the life that she's leading actually as a mother. And it is quite edifying, you know, some of the things that happen and it makes you as a reader ask a lot of what if questions. Now, there are quite a few themes running through the book. One of the major themes is this fact of police brutality and its effect on the black community and on families uh, as a whole. And it's, it's terrifying. And it's really the thing that is going on at the moment in the US. And that is what is interesting about the book. The next thing I wanna talk about is the roles of black men in families, the roles of women as mothers and families, and we also have a theme that surrounds this idea of voice and silence. As for the roles of the black man and the black woman, she does get into 
the fact that the black man is made to feel incompetent as if he is not capable of being a full-fledged black man that can take care of his family, protect his family. And this is just some of the similar themes that I saw in Corrigidora by Gail Jones. Now, as far as a voice and silence, in the beginning of the book, when Miriam is a child, is the daughter, and we see her with her mother and father, there is a very large silence in the family as a whole. It is not until she, until she leaves and grows up that her voice comes back. But then when she becomes a mother later on in the book, the silence returns. It's almost as if though she's trying to cut off her part of her past to so-called make a better future for her daughter. But in fact, she's emulating the same silence that she so uh, detested when she was a child. But those are the main, I think those are pretty much the main themes. Now, as far as the writing is concerned, it is excellent, beautiful writing, very poetic, flows very well. There's a great utilization of white pages in between chapters and italics for more poetic passages and for passages where you're, you're inside of someone's head. And really well done. It's simply treated but beautifully edited and brought through. So if you're interested in reading something by a black woman dealing with family, mother-daughter relationships, that kind of thing, this is a great book to pick up. Very, very moving. I even shed a tear. Okay, now, I mean, and I don't shed tears when I read books. This one made me cry. I gave it five stars. Check it out. Okay.